Yo, what's up everyone? MTG Twins here today. We are doing a modern game, of course. What else should we play? Um, and this will be interesting. This is a brand new deck that I just got. Um, and he's playing a deck that he's been playing, which is called Dredge. Um, but I am playing humans. It's five color humans. I don't have much to say about this deck because I don't really know it. Well, I know it, I just haven't played it that much. I am with you. Alright, and the other thing is that I went back and forth on either playing four Kite Sail or four, four Thalia. I enjoy the four kite sail more than four Thalia Guardian Thraven. Um, yeah. And the reason is just because Thalia is just a dead draw when I already have one on the field. So I want to cut that down a bit. She's not as important compared to every, all the other human cards in this deck. So I just kind of took her out oh, in a sense of I took her down to three and then kite sail up to four. Now this was also a general Kujo build, um, so there's that, and yeah, that's all I have to say about my deck, because I mean, Humans is one of those decks that doesn't have much change from deck to deck, it's typically all the same. If you do want to see my build, um, there will be a link in the description of it. Um, you guys won't be seeing any more gameplay of artifacts uh, in the Titan, Amy the Titan, or the snow deck. But the snow deck was only what one video, right? Yeah. There was one. Um, reason being is because we traded them in for a Jun deck. The Jun deck is not complete. I think we could only get a total of eight cards out of the, the Jun <laughs> yeah. deck. Um, for out of those. Three decks. Um, so that is on the way. It is in the works of doing, uh, but right now it it just can't be done. Yeah. All right. Higher low. Oh, it's too high. Nineteen, of course. Hey, at least you finally got closer to me. <laughs> All day. Have one one dice roll. Partial. This would be an amazing hand. Oh, what is this? I'm with you. Two Thalias, three Phantasmal images, Reflector Mage, and two lands. Not the hand I want. I have three cards that you do not want to see, and three cards you do want to <laughs> see, and then one card of just nah. It could, it, I mean, yeah. you could do good without it. So that, I mean, to me, that part didn't really matter. If that meh card was just good, good. I would have been like, oh, you know, I'll keep. Yeah. I right, you like, full on. Yeah, I messed up there. Alright. Four, five, six, seven. Sure. Mm. Oh my gosh. Um, not much better, but I will keep. Hopefully, I can just. Get more cards. Okay. I'll go first. 
Okay. Want to play stopping ground? Sure. Cast stopping ground? Sure. Uh, play instant neonate? Mm hmm. Use effect? This ring prize? Yeah. Here, your turn. Draw. Horizon cannon for you. Pay one, ancient battle. Your turn. One tap draw. See, this is where I was figuring I'd run into a problem. <laughs> uh, send Merchant of the Veil on to an adventure. Mm -hmm. yep. uh, discarding Stinkweed and then dredging Stinkweed. Okay. Four, five. Price times two. And then I'll go into the end step. Yeah. Upkeep, I'll play kind of on Ancient Bell. Yep. Draw. So, pay one life. Champion of the Parish. Okay. Tap Ancient Bell, level higher. Mm -hmm. Champion of the Parish gets a level higher. Level higher gets a human. And then I'm going to pass the turn. And to no judges, so draw. I knew I'd run into a problem. Yeah. I'm in a I'm facing a big problem here. <laughs> I'm gonna see. Do you take the seven or do you kill creatures? I can't kill. No, do you kill your creatures? No, I'll take seven. I'll play up a uh, turn on interval. Mm -hmm. Draw. Okay. I can. Pay a life. Champion of the Parish. Five. The champion gets power. Tap two. Oops. So you didn't see the eight. Uh, Dolly's Lieutenant. They all, all humans get a plus one, plus one. And then also, um, Champion Parish gets a that one because it is a human. Mm -hmm. So this is at two. This is at four. to swing with a little higher for one, two, because it's talking by itself. Yep. It's your turn. Come on, baby land. <laughs> Not what I needed. <laughs> I mean, we're both running all on land here. Yeah. Mm, you can kill my prizes. Yes, I can. I'll just swing with one fly. Yeah. Pass. Upkeep. I'll pull a counter. Draw. Um. I just need one land. Kudra? Kuja? <laughs> he gets two counters because he puts a counter on all humans. He gets a counter when he manages battlefield. It's not two, this is at uh, six. It's not four. This might hurt. <laughs> Seven. Um. Eight. Eleven. Twelve. Thirteen. Fourteen. Fifteen. Sixteen. Mm. Wow, that that's lethal. <laughs> but you have blockers. I have two blockers. Yes. Yes. So. Uh, do you have treasures? I do no. not. 
my next draw is like based off of do, can I get a land? If I can get a land, it it'll be Swing. good. Swing. Okay. Your turn. If, I, if this isn't a land, I lose. <laughs> So I win. Okay. I have Kite Sail, Mantis Rider, and Reflector Mage. Next draw, Reflector Mage. Of course. <laughs> you have this one anyways. You could yeah. play one card and... Well, generally... You could play my general color tag. Yeah. I could also tap two, sack two creatures, and general could kill a creature. So I just sack these two, and general and these two would have lethal, I believe. Well, not lethal, but almost lethal. Alright. Sideboard time. I really need to get Thoughtseize from this deck. <laughs> like, I just... Two. I two don't would think Thoughtseize would help. I would be happy with it. I would sideboard it almost every time. I could. I really kind of want to on this card. Are we gonna show him? Uh, we can. Okay. I'm debating on this one. Same thing. Well, let's. Two. I'm not changing mine, but you have to get yours out first, and then we'll. Then we'll discuss. I think that's it. Okay. Just the six. Well, I'm sideboarding six as well. So two relic. Two graph diggers and two deputy detention. Okay. Um, what is. I mean, there's a lot that kind of works in this matchup and kind of doesn't for me. Like, I think he. Him and you. Oh, well, no. I keep. All the volumes? Yeah. Yeah, I mean, I don't really. Well, I mean, it's just not worth it. For the couple cards that won't really back to me in any way I don't really care for alright oh, I'm still debating do I go dark blast or no well no you that's what you, you know. sat down alright well I'm debating if I do dark blast so I get another shan shenanigans and just keep what you have now because the, that's what you picked Cause it, now you know why I'm sideboarding. Well, I don't care for you sideboarding. I'm just debating. No, yeah. Is this really a good idea? Well, do it now. For now, in the next game, next yeah. if you win, whatever. Okay. So I'm citing relic progenitus to grab diggers' cages. One to stop them from playing cards from the graveyard. But also relic progenitus is just a bit better than Tormod's crypt in the sense that I get to draw a card, and it's I can just keep exiling cards that I pick and choose. Um, Grab Jigger's Cage, Stop Surprised, Stops, uh, Amoeba. Yep, and Blood Gast, Stops some, and then, um, then, also it stops Fetch Lands. Oh no, sorry, no, it doesn't, because no, it it's doesn't only creatures. Touch, yeah. No, it doesn't touch library, does it? Yeah. Oh yeah, it does. Players can't cast cards in graveyards or libraries. Oh, okay. Um, and then Deputy Detention. Because when it enters the battlefield, I can exile permanent and all of the permanents that have the same name um, until he leaves the battlefield. Um, but they have to control that many permanents. He's not a human. Nope. But he's still really good. Because you play prize, do you have multiple on the field, play and all exiled until he dies. I'm doing so. shenanigans and ancient grudge, obviously, because I'm expecting those something similar. 100% of the time. All the time. <laughs> I was thinking Dark Blast just because of like his low creatures. If I can get him out there really quick and get it dead, it'll leave him more open for me. But 
And that means you have to I'm kind of debating if that's well, going to be the way. Well, next game, let's... Well, you can test them. If you see them. Anyways, so we're going to take this moment to talk about just like... For me, I want to talk about deck pricing, because I know for me and, and him lately, deck pricing has been a big thing, because prices of decks are a lot. Um, so if you are wanting to build humans, because I know I'm in a couple of modern group chat, no, uh, modern groups on Facebook and stuff, and um, when I showed everyone my the new humans deck and stuff, a lot of people were wanting it and how much it would cost. Humans will set you back about $800, depending on what you get. For me, that's, I got a local, so with that and packs, it was about $830. Uh, so they, it will set you back a pretty penny. And then Dredge is probably the deck you would go for if you're looking for something a bit cheaper, but Dredge is also the same it's, amount it's as not, like most modern decks. It, no, more of the lower and modern decks, but it can pull it off really good. Yeah, high tier. It's lower and height, a high tier deck. I would probably say it, it might not top every single time, but it, it, it'll get you close. The issue is that if you want to get into the meta some, game. Yeah, everyone has something, though, for dredge. To, against Dredge. So, Dredge typically, which did, it didn't win this time because he didn't hit anything, but t Dredge typically does win games. And it wins games because, I mean, once when it, it gets going, it, yeah, it's, it's it hard to goes. stop. But it typically does, it's a game one deck, it loses to sideboard. If you can't combat the, the other player's sideboard, you lose with Dredge. That's the issue. Um, I think that this deck in particularly, right now, runs about 380. I think it, I think it was like 430 or something like that. Um, no, Goldfish. that's with Thought Seas and stuff. Uh, that's like the final deck version of it, but I haven't. There's no reason to run Thought Seas and Dredge. I don't see any reason why. Uh, what what deck would you take, or would you be going against that you want to run in Thought Seas? What deck? Humans right now, yes. <laughs> uh, Grixis Shadow. Okay, but uh, against your. Tron. Mm, we we use Grixis Shadow against humans. Your thought sees didn't do much to stop me here. Because I don't know what to get. It's my first time playing humans. I've never played humans. Um so I mean it's a lower tier deck, but it costs I mean it's a really high meta game deck. Everyone expects it somewhere. Especially since a lot of people were liking Kogak and now that it's banned, Dredge is kind of the next thing closest. I guess Dell decks too or Hollow One, but mm -hmm. they're not the same. Uh, Especially Hollow One. I guess he's nowhere near that, but still. But I guess the next thing for me right now, I'm going into Jund. Yeah. Jumping into that life uh, like I said at the beginning. Uh, that is not a... That's, that's one of the more expensive decks. 1400 to $1,500. Yeah. No, it's 12 Eleven hundred to, I've seen some at seventeen hundred dollars. Damn. All right, I'm missing you first. Yeah. All right. So, I mean that's a pretty funny too. Oh wow. Um, I'll. Uh, I, I'll keep. Uh, I won't run into mana problems, but. Oh, neither will I. <laughs> I'm running. I, I like the hand, but if this was maybe game three, I would prefer a different card instead of what I have now. I like one creature, but other than that, it's fine. I do it every time if, like, my, um, like, Noble Hierarch or Ithavile or even Karma Souls gets killed. But it's so expensive. How disrespectful is that? 
just because it's so expensive doesn't mean it's, it can't be killed like any other card. But it's so expensive. So you are keeping her? Yeah. Oh, see, I'll, I'll keep this, 100%. I would keep this every time. Uh, I just don't know what to get rid of. I'll get rid Prized. of Prized. No. I do not have that in my hand. Nor from Yuba. Those two would have been the first to go. <laughs> okay, I'm going to go first. Yep. Where do I go? I think... Let's just get it out of the way. Where do I put Sure. I'm going to get Stomping Ground. Yeah. Untap. I'm just preparing for stuff down the road. Which tells me you have set stuff. Well, it's because there's a card, I, I don't run just humans, so that's why. All right, I'm gonna tap st set stomping ground, send merchant on an adventure, discarding stinkweed. Yeah, dredging stinkweed, of course. What a pull with a stink read in an arc on your bow. My turn? Uh, then, yeah, your turn. Draw. Power souls, I'll name humans. Okay. See, I told you. Which means you have. Um, it's a vowel. Okay, that's it. I was about to draw, but I realized I have another stink read. <laughs> so, judge by. One. I should have just drew. Two, three, four, five. Here's my issue: is that you could have like a um, anything that could kill my um, my well. Plus right Meyer. Yeah, and that, that would suck. suck. That would absolutely suck for me. Rise triggers. Yeah. I am going to search, sack it, search for a, let's see, what do I get? I'm going to get a blood grip. Sure. Uh, see, the issue with my sideboard, though, like, it's either Thalia, all the Thalias go, and, or all the kite sails go, because I can't target creatures or land, I have to target sources and instance and stuff. And now I'm kind of regretting that, I think. Keeping the Thalia's might have been play. <laughs> but just because it's more powerful. Yeah. That's why. I'm going to life. Sure. Get Overground Soon, Bloodstain, and Wood of Foothill. Sure. Right. Yeah, I think that's the way I'm going to go with that one. And then I'm going to go into Battle. Yep. Same with Nerf. Gramiva, and then Insta. Yeah. Six, then pass. On top. Play See, charge. this is the like games that I like, really enjoy. Make me love dredge. Um, I'm gonna play ancient ziggurat. Tap. Is it vowel? Wait, oh, you don't even want to counter on it. Okay. Humans. Champion Parish. Uh, pass. He doesn't see himself, correct? He does, because it's humans. Well, no, he, when he's played, it doesn't when see another, himself. Yeah. Whenever, okay. That's what I was asking. Okay, so on tap, I will dredge four. I thought you were talking about name-wise. Oh, no. I was wondering if he just saw himself in general. Okay. One, two, two three, four. 
Yeah, there's nothing that could bring back prized yet. I mean, you can play you your land sure? and then, <laughs> then get uh, a Overgrown but... tomb? Sure. Actually, no. No, no, no. Steam vents? Untap. So, Blood Gas Trigger. Mm -hmm. Prize taps. Uh, then I'm gonna play Stinky. We're gonna have very similar fields here in a second. <laughs> Uh, Necromeeble will swing, and Bloodgast will swing, and Prize will. In response, uh, bring out Champion. How? Do they have Flash? It's a vowel. It gives them Flash, though? I just put creatures onto the battlefield, <laughs> so I can do it during your turn. <laughs> That's what makes it's a vowel so good. I didn't know you could do that. Okay. So he gets a plus one, it, plus it one counter. Yeah. But then I'm just gonna, I think, take that. Three, three, six. Yeah. One, two, three, four, five, six. I will go to end step. Prize will tap. And I'll go pass. And untap. I'll put counters on both. And draw. Um, horizon canopy. Mm hmm. Tap three others in life from Horizon. Uh, Reflector Mage. I'll send. Yeah. You had your eye on him, so I can't yeah. figure. The only one that can really block uh, against you. They both get counters. Noble mm, Hierarch. Woo! So they get another counter. This is gonna be a hurtful turn. I told you we're gonna have very similar fields in a second. Kite tail freebooter. Uh, the oh, you can't take anything. I don't think you nope. can take land. I can't. And I know you can't take creatures. So. Well, you can't play stinkweed now for a turn. That keeps me safe. Well, is it both? I just can't play anything with that one yeah, name. Yeah. Anything with that name. Oh. <laughs> That's not okay. I'm gonna pass. Okay, untap. I'm gonna dredge three from life. Yeah. Please be a good hit. Two and three. No. Dang, not a good hit. I mean, good hit for you. Life. And for me. <laughs> yeah, for life. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah you for life. <laughs> um. We're gonna tune, I guess. I'm gonna play life again. Sure. I mean, I don't really have another choice. Steam vents, blood crypt, and mire. Alright. All right. See, overgrown tomb isn't as expensive as like this, as like blood crypt, I believe. But then when you get to the fetch land, it's more expensive than bloodstained mire. Yeah. That's just stupid. I would have to discard. End step? Yeah. Actually, no. We're gonna go to battle. Okay. Block, kill, dark amoeba. Noob. Um, block, kill, blood gas? Yeah. Um, and then kill both of your prize. Do they don't have? Nope, because oh, so 5 good. 5 4 4. I take two. Oh, that was very, very dumb of me. Yeah. Uh, end step. Pass. Uh, actually, no. Fuck, no. I'm gonna go before end step. So you can't discard right now? Yeah. No, I can't discard. Okay, my turn? Yep. Untap. Even I will configure. put a counter on both. I think this is your game, though. Again. Um... Uh, sack. Oh, we can't do that. We can't do this. Sack, rise, and straw. Human. Noble. Four, five. Um, two. Polly's lieutenant. So they all get a counter. He. Yeah, so they all they all get an extra counter. So this is actually at seven now. Then this is at six. 
This has one counter. These both have a counter. Good game. Swing off the hooks. I don't know if that's game. Yeah, it, I'm <laughs> at 13 life. But you can dredge. So... What do you what do you mean I can dredge? I can't dredge. I can block, block this one. This one or this eight. one. Eight. So three. Uh ten. Eleven. So you'd be alive. Eleven. Twelve, thirteen. I didn't count this one. One, two, so three. ten. One, two, three. Uh, three, eleven, twelve, yeah. Alright, that's good. I didn't even get to play any of my sideboard cards. I didn't either. I don't even think we saw them. Nope. Alrighty. <laughs> that was like the ha perfect hand and everything. You just. I was able uh, to keep up with so, it. Humans are just so like small that they can play so fast. Yeah. Which dredge sucks against that. Dredge can keep up with them, but it's also hard because humans can control. They they both have the control aspect and aggro aspect behind their backs here. So that to me, I think that's why. I mean, we could go game. We can do a game like four and stuff, but no. Okay. We have other games to record. True. Um, I decided more than just that. One of the other two. I decided six. Yeah, let's say. Oh, this relic. And then I need your last. Um, w extension. Where is he? There he is. But yeah. But, so, another reason that Dahlia is not good against creature decks, so. Yeah. So I thought, this is a good idea. And I don't know if I'm right, because I didn't really need to see her. <laughs> Alrighty, so I hope you guys enjoyed that gameplay today, and yeah, so if you want to see more Dredge or Humans, let us know. I still have Grixis Shadow, so don't worry. Not yet. I will oh, Grixis Shadow. That yeah. deck will stay there forever. Except that it's lost against every time it went up against Humans. <laughs> yeah. Because I kill myself too quick to keep up with you, so it, it does nothing. Well, you kill yourself also, you you have the one creature. Yeah, really, it, it does and nothing. And I get a swarm. So, I mean, there's not much you can sideboard against me. I mean, if you had Chalice of the Void, no. you definitely could, but that's also a $55 card. I thought you ran that in that day. Chalice of the Void? Yeah. No. There's no reason for Did that. Did you do it on, online, right? No. Uh, I never, I never ever ran Toss of the Void. Maybe I ran it. And uh, the Jun deck online. Huh, that would explain the price that you, you're saying. I can't remember. Yeah, it's like... It's XX. Yeah. And it stops the business of playing. Yeah. Oh, no, I don't. Not the deck I'm building. Because Reed Duke doesn't play that, but I am... I'm just gonna build Are you going off of a You're going off of Reed Dukes? Well, I like Reed du Duke's build of Jun. Yeah. But I want to build my own version of it. Mm -hmm. I absolutely hate Scavenging Ooze. It's one of my least favorite cards in that entire deck. But it's like a very big staple in it. It's, a it's good either card, Scavenging though. Ooze or Kroxa. Mm -hmm. I don't like Kroxa. I actually prefer Ooze than Kroxa in Jen. <laughs> I mean, I can understand that, but Kroxa is also one of those cards that is actually really good because Jen is losing but a lot of cards. Will Make it more expensive and ooze is <laughs> keeping it. I mean, three crocs yeah. is like 60 bucks right now, three oozes is 17 around there. So I'm gonna stick with the ooze. <laughs> uh, you're going old fashioned with your jund, yeah. I like the old school jund, I don't like the new Luris jund I mean, just because you don't get to play your plane walkers, yeah. No, you get to play Ren and Six. I don't like Ren and Six as much as I do Vale. Veil is like the whole Tormenboy, and Veil is what makes this deck, to me, 
like I fall in love with it. For there is, is also really there good are too. decks called Feed the Goyf, where you do run Veil, but it's Gold Gary. So, but you run four Vernant Catacombs, so, or like I'm, I'm probably much cheaper than freaking. It is still twelve hundred dollars. Oh. <laughs> so no. But yeah, I I just right now I don't know. Overgrown Tomb is the cheaper version of it. Just uh -huh. Vernant Catacombs, is it turns everything off for me because it's the most expensive thing of any set of four in the entire deck they, because of yeah, yeah i mean in any deck four of them is over 400 it's like you might as well pay a hundred dollars per one well there's only one dollar piece right uh like at that. our locals they're 66.89 my camera souls is more expensive than that well they're 66.89 for four of them uh i believe it was so i mean it's so ooh, pretty pricey I mean, I can just find out real quick. Oh, well. While him and I are ranting, thank you guys so much for watching. Like, comment, subscribe. Comment what you guys want to see. If if it's a budget, like right now, Jund is uh, something that is driving me nuts because I'm bad. I want the deck. I don't have the money for the deck. Um, yeah. But we still have Storm, Death Taxes, Tron. Well, Eldrazi, Tron, I'm sorry. Uh, these two... Still have a good collection of decks. Um, just I didn't see myself playing Amulet Titan at a tournament or FNM, so it, to me it didn't make sense to play or keep it around. But thank you guys so much for watching, and we'll see you in the next week. Two five nine point.